And ladies and gentlemen, y'all welcome to the show. Show some love right now. My man, Pleasure P is in the house. Yeah, man. What up, boy? What's going on, man? Man, first of all, thank you for stopping by. Ah, uh, thanks for having me. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And, and you know, we've been been big supporters, man. Every yeah, time you yeah. got something coming out, you always yeah, come on yeah. the show, man, and we always happy to have you on the show. Appreciate that. Appreciate and stuff, that. man. And uh, so a lot of stuff been going on. Let's just get down to the to the nitty gritty, man. Uh, people are putting out crazy allegations. Give us a backstory, Evan. All right. Um, for the most part, and here, Craig, you you jump in here too. Um, a rumor basically started that you have molestation charges against you. Um, a four-year-old and a two-year-old, uh, I guess, your, was it your nephew and your niece, supposedly? Well, actually, um, all of these rumors and, and stuff like that, that's that's what they, you know, put out there, but it's not true. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's this person that was on Twitter by the name of A. Goldstein. Well, it's, it's not a person. It's a, it's a fake, you know, it's a fake account. Somebody actually set up a fake Twitter account and you know, put out information, well, it's not information, um, you know, false information mm -hmm. uh, right. uh, about me. So, you know, um, what happened was my lawyer and I, we, um, we uh, got together and, you know, they contact Twitter immediately to find out, you know, who this person is. And, you know, i never been represented by no A. Goldstein, don't know no A. Goldstein, never been around no A. Goldstein. All, all, all this is, it's, it's a lie. Because they, okay, right. and they've tried to allude to the fact <laughs> That you were kicked out of the group, pretty Ricky, which because is not of true. these. Of these, which is did not you true. leave the group or did? Or were you I left the group. You know, what I'm saying, clear as day. We went through a whole. You know, I, w I went through litigation for about 18 months. When this record that you're hearing right here was was out, you know, right before right. Boyfriend Number Two, and you know, it was a settlement. And you know, um, you know, I moved on. I, I'm doing my thing. They doing their thing. I let bygones be bygones. Never talk bad about them. Never, you know what I'm saying? Always took the high road. You did. Always took the high road. Honestly, man, I can't say yeah, what that's what I, just been I can't say that it's them, and I can't say that it's not them. You know what I mean? Like I, like I did tell you earlier, we get into the bottom of it, me and my attorney. And, you know, it's stuff called IP addresses and stuff like that where you can actually find out who the person is that, you know, sent out this, this massive tweet. And, and the thing that get me, you know, the most is, how a person, how people can sit sit back and believe somebody that won't show their face, that won't stand up for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like right now, you can look at me though. You, I'm on. A, I got a camera in front of my face right now. You can look at me. You can tell like this, this ain't this ain't nothing to be laughing about. This, this ain't no is not a joke. Like this is very serious. I got right. a five year old son that I love and care for. He got to go to school and he got to hear about something that he don't know about. But what about when he get older and he, and he hear about? This that y'all take for a joke, or you know what I mean. Well, however the the case may be, whether you jealous of me or whether you just really got it in for me, why would you, you know what I'm saying, take take it Try to that to destroy level? Destroy your life. This this my family we talking about first and foremost. So I take that very serious. My career, I've been nominated for three Grammys, and I I, I haven't been able yes. to. I haven't been even able to enjoy that because I gotta you know come do radio interviews and and let you people know. Because you came off the tour to do this, I, right? I, I took off the tour. I, I had four days left and. When I heard this information, well, I gotta go defend my name. This, this, you know, I, I work hard. It's, it's not easy being an artist in, in this business. You know, it's not at all. And these are some of the things that come with, you know, being an artist. These are some of the things that that people don't even realize. You know, I guess I'm getting big. Now, I guess I'm, I'm becoming oh, successful. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. This is what, this is what, this is what happened. Yeah, they're gonna say that. You know, um, this is when you start making money. When they start saying you're gay. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. or uh, um, or stuff like like that, molesting kids, or just negative stuff, or whatever. And that's when that's when you're really on your way, man. And it's sad to say, man, that uh, a lot of people are willing to, to go above and beyond the call of duty to pull you down in order to lift themselves up, or just some people just doing it just because of their jealous. And jealousy is a disease, man, and it's yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know. But the thing, the thing, the thing, even about the seal, you know what I'm saying? They saying that, okay, I, um, you know, uh, one of my former group members, they tweeted, oh, I thought that was seal, you know what I'm saying? Like right away, like before I even made a statement, um, I thought so it was one of the seal. groups that were in, in uh, Pretty Ricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm spectacular. He he tweeted, oh, I thought it was seal. But see, the thing is, is like, it's like I stood up for you, you know what I'm saying? I stood up for you when 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 people was was down to you, you know what I'm saying? How could you, you know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, it's like every juvenile case is sealed. You know what I mean? Anything pertaining to a juvenile, no matter what you did, 
is is sealed. You can't talk about, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. You don't it, it, it don't show record of that. So right. why could you sit here and say that? Hold on, we gon we gon we gonna go to break. You can call us up one eight six six nine. We can one eight six six. And it's really sad, man. Man sitting up here with tears in his eyes because I, I can see the hurt. Of course, and, and feel the pain. That is something serious, man. And black folks as a race, stop believing everything you hear. Stop believing. Give people the benefit of the, of the doubt, people, man. Dude, for real. Yeah. All right, Pleasure P in the studio. Pleasure P. He's going to be talking more about clearing his name, of course, the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. We make it a platform to be fair, let everybody speak their mind. So we're letting him clear the air about these crazy allegations, this child molestation stuff. We'll be right back. You